Hi ladies, I hope that you're all doing really well. I am still not used to filming in my new house. Like it, it kind of feels, uh, like it feels great, but I'm still just like not used to it at all. And if you guys have been following me on Instagram, like I'm laughing right now, but it's really not funny at all. If you guys follow me on Instagram, I've been updating you a little bit on my house situation right now, but basically it's been like, really a nightmare since we've moved in here with just so many things happening like so many just yeah like not so great things happening everything is breaking actually and we're having to fix it and it's just one thing after another like really you guys it's one thing after another like yesterday i was pulling out like the bathroom cabinet and literally the door fell off onto my foot, like onto the top of my foot, gave me a massive bruise. And actually my foot was in so much pain yesterday, but that's just yesterday. Like so many events have happened, you guys. Like if you follow me again, you will see what happened. But anyways, I'm trying to stay positive. I think that that's all that I can do right now is even though I haven't been, like I've been super stressed and upset and like just, you know, yeah, just not feeling the best, but I think all I can do is be positive. Let's get into today's video. Now, the topic of today's video is so much fun, at least for me, like this is such a fun topic. And what inspired this topic of video is actually a TikTok that I filmed uh, earlier in the week, actually. Basically, I made a video about Escapade Gourmand from Maison Mataha, which if you guys follow me on, on TikTok, you know my thoughts on it. To be honest with you guys, I'll give you a spoiler. I'm not that impressed with Escapade Gourmand. Like I was expecting so much more. I said in that video that I was kind of expecting it to be more of this like dark, slutty vanilla. I'm gonna say the word smutty instead of slutty. I was expecting this like smutty vanilla that I don't know, just felt like really dark and like sexy and like, I don't know, like I was just expecting that from the bottle to the name to the way that people described it. I was so excited, but actually it's just this like fluffy vanilla. So I got into like a kind of spiral of talking about smutty perfumes. I first started talking about smutty vanillas, but now I'm talking about smutty perfumes in general. What perfumes give me that feeling, that saucy feeling, that feeling that, I don't know, like I'm feeling a little bit naughty. I have the fragrances here and I love every single one of them. In fact, one of them I'm actually thinking of wearing tonight. I'm going to meet up with a friend, a girl, by the way, guys, a girl. And I think I'm going to wear like one of the fragrances, maybe two of them layered actually, if I want to be all out. The first fragrance that we have here is of course the queen herself, the queen of smut. This is Duquesa from Gucci. I feel like the word smart is such like a term that people use on like book talk to describe when a book is like super spicy and i absolutely love it duquesa from gritty is the most beautiful cherry fragrance for me in terms of cherry fragrances i would say it's not the fragrance that smells the most cherry-esque by any means but i just think it's the best executed does that make any sense like i just love what they did with this fragrance and i love how they worked around the note of cherry you have cherry in here but you also have almond you have saffron which brings something a bit dark and smoky to the scent you have some woods in the base there is a sweetness but there's also that kind of yeah like that smoky sexy facet to it it's kind of like if lost cherry from tom ford and like oud for greatness kind of came together it would smell like Duquesa. It's just this beautiful cherry, bitter almond, smoky, sexy, mysterious fragrance. Like I feel so sexy and mysterious when I wear Duquesa and I always get compliments from it. It's that dark feminine energy. It's really a smutty fragrance. Like if you want that sort of attention, wear something like Duquesa. Like it's just incredible. So 12 out of 10 fragrance with amazing longevity and projection. For me, I get around, I would say eight to 10 hours of really good wear with Duquesa and a beautiful projection. It's gonna project within your arm's length. People around you will definitely be able to smell you and most likely give you a compliment. So that is my first smutty fragrance. I just love it. And I don't wear it enough because to be honest with you guys, like I wear this fragrance when 
I go out. Like if I go out, which is very rare, if I go out and like I want to embody like this really sexy energy, that's when I'll wear Duquesa. But usually I'm just more of a chill person, so I don't pull for it too much anymore. The next fragrance that we have here is Rosendo Matu number no. six. I absolutely love this fragrance. I feel like it's pretty underrated, especially from Rosendo Matthew. Rosendo Matthew, everybody just knows number five and then they don't really explore the rest of the house, which I think is a little bit strange. I love number six and number four, actually. Even though I would say number four is not masculine, but definitely more of like a unisex profile, number six is more feminine and I absolutely love this fragrance. It has something really like captivating about it and alluring what you have in number six is this really like indolic floral fragrance you have jasmine a lot of sandalwood which brings like a creamy facet you have a musky dry down and there is a very prominent like plastic barbie doll head smell in here it definitely gives me like this synthetic plastic doll head smell in the best way possible. Like it adds to the composition and makes it even more sexy and playful and fun. I love the fragrance, it's gorgeous. It's very, yeah, like magnetic on the skin and it's just an incredible scent. Longevity protection is good on my skin. I get around, I would say seven hours, like a decent seven hours with a minimal projection. Like it projects within my arm's length. I haven't worn it too much since I've got it. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, maybe like five, six times, but I am obsessed with the fragrance. Like it's something that maybe I would consider taking on summer vacation with me. If I want that kind of sexy, indolic, playful floral, I might take this one with me this summer. Another playful floral. We have Ella K, Camellia K. Now I actually uh, just made a video on my TikTok today about my wishlist fragrances. Guys, let me know in the comments, have you tried Orchid K yet? Because I, like the notes look really appealing to me. It looks like a very sweet kind of maybe woody powdery floral fragrance. It just looks amazing and I cannot wait to smell it. I love Camellia K. This is your really playful bubblegummy white floral with like this airiness going on. It is just magnificent. Like if you want to smell sexy and feminine, this is the way to go right here. It's gorgeous, you guys. Think of a DNA similar to Lantadi from Givenchy, Lantadi Rouge, etc. They're kind of similar, which is slightly disappointing, but I love the fragrance nonetheless. And in terms of all of those scents, I still love Lantadi Rouge and I could definitely put it in this video, but I'm recommending LK Camellia K because I just love this brand. I love the fragrance so much and it's just so gorgeous, you guys, like very sexy. like. I don't want to sound too vulgar, but it's like a slutty floral fragrance. Like if you want something really smutty and like attention grabbing, like you just want the attention, you have to wear Camellia K. It's very captivating. Next up we have Dirty Heaven from Born to Stand Out. Now Born to Stand Out is a brand that I have tried a lot of the fragrances from them. I love Dirty Heaven. I am obsessed with Dirty Heaven. This is my favorite fragrance from the brand like smelling it from the cap i know it's a bit of a weird comparison but smelling it from the cap not on the skin it gives me a bit of an altaya vibe like altaya from puff and molly just a little bit from the cap <laughs> um but this is such a gorgeous saffron vanilla tonka bean like just this gorgeous really intense sweet slightly smoky dark vanilla gorgeous vanilla tonka saffron some jasmine it is beautiful you guys it's super strong really sexy captivating on the skin and definitely has like a smutty vibe to it and i'm just obsessed if you want to make an impression on like a night out oh my god you need to wear dirty heaven it has good longevity projection as well i would say around like the seven eight hour mark with a soft projection Gorgeous fragrance. I love it so much. Out of the Born to Stand Out fragrances, you guys, this is a big claim, but this is my absolute favorite. Like this far, I have a few actually right here. I This is my, my absolute favorite. From what I've tried from Born to Stand Out, I would say this, and maybe I have two others that I really enjoy, but definitely check this one out, guys. Dirty Heaven is really, really good and really underrated. Next up, we have the darkest of all dark, sexy vanillas, Spiritus Double Vanille from Guerlain. 
This is still to this day one of the best vanillas in the entire world. I think it will take something really special to knock this fragrance off of its podium. I don't even think that it would ever happen. Maybe Guerlain will create a vanilla that's even better than Spiritus du Beveni, but it's just gorgeous. It's this really dark, almost like an incense -y vanilla fragrance with a little bit of a spice in the top. I think it's pink pepper. I think you have some incense in there. You definitely get this really deep, dark and slightly boozy vanilla. And just look at the juice color, like that's what the fragrance smells like. It's just so beautiful. I will say this is not the strongest fragrance though, and it's not the most long lasting. I feel like all of the vanillas from Guerlain, they last on the skin around like seven, let's say seven, eight hours, but they're very soft. They're not beast mode fragrances. They're not projecting so much, at least in my experience. And I have several different versions of uh, Spiritus de Beveni, Angelique Noir, and all of them are a little more intimate vanilla fragrances. So if that's okay with you, then definitely check out Spiritus de Beveni. It's so beautiful, beautiful vanilla, so sexy, so sexy, like dirty sexy, like it's just incredible. La Perla Possibilities, La Perla Possibilities, say it with me, La Perla Possibilities. This is definitely your kind of smutty, look at me, I'm right here type of scent. La Perla Possibilities, you guys, is so beautiful. I didn't wear it for such a long time because I feel like I wore it so much, like consecutively, like every single day for like six months, I was wearing Possibilities. And I just kind of wanted to take a break from it because first of all, I'm gonna run out of it and I heard that it's gonna be discontinued. And second of all, like, I want to keep that love for this fragrance. I am obsessed with it. You have a bit of a soft spiciness in the opening. It's this very plush and voluptuous floral. I think you have rose and some other florals in there, maybe peony as well. I think you have black currant, some vanilla. I don't even know to be honest with you guys, but it is just this beautiful, sweet, slightly powdery, plush floral fragrance with depth with a lot of depth and character. And I just love it with all of my heart. Like I love this fragrance so much. Like in terms of florals, you guys know me. I think for me, it's like Rouge Maliki and La Perla Possibilities. Rouge will always be just here, but La Perla Possibilities is a close second. I love it so much. It's so sexy. It's so captivating. It's attention grabbing. It's smutty as hell. It's so gorgeous, like, and also a huge compliment getter. Like, I feel like it's difficult to get complimented on floral fragrances because not everybody likes the smell of florals, especially a white floral. I feel like it's very hard to get complimented on white florals. Florals in general, this is literally like a compliment magnet if you care about it, like a compliment magnet, it's gorgeous. So possibilities from La Perla, I think I'm gonna wear this one tonight actually because I said it before, but I'm gonna see a friend that also loves perfume and I wanna see if she gives me a compliment on how I smell. This right here is definitely a smutty vanilla. This is Silky Woods from Goldfield and Banks. This is the definition of a sexy vanilla. Like this is the definition in the Bible of perfumes of a sexy vanilla right here. Like I'm telling you guys, if you wanted a sexy vanilla, you have to try Silky Woods. This is vanilla, suede, cinnamon, saffron. It's just incredible. Like, and I'm gonna tell you guys something right now. I've never said this and I don't know, maybe it has no purpose for me to say it, but when I first started working on Minuit de Me, um, I worked with somebody who came up with a sample of a fragrance that smelled exactly like Silky Woods. Like, I'm not even joking to you guys. I have a sample in my closet of a fragrance that, yeah, somebody worked on for me and it was identical to Silky Woods and I loved it so much. Like, for a long time, that was going to be Minuit de Me until I decided to work with somebody else and, like, a different fragrance manufacturer. But... I love this DNA, this sexy, ambery, deep, dark vanilla with a slightly suede, leathery touch, just ever so subtly. Some cinnamon, saffron, like I adore this fragrance. I cannot fault this scent. I also love the elixir. 
uh, but I wear the original more. I have to be honest with you guys. Like I wear this one more, but I still love the Elixir myself. Just an incredible scent, very smutty, very sexy, very dark, very just perfection, perfection. So if you guys wanted a deep, dark, smutty vanilla, I would honestly recommend Silky Woods with all of my heart. It's a 10 out of 10 fragrance and it has really good longevity and projection. On my skin, I get around eight hours with a really nice projection. People will smell you, most probably compliment you, and it's just a 12 out of 10. I love this fragrance so much. Next up, we have Side Effect from Inicio. I love this fragrance. There's a lot of Inicios that could have gone into here, like Absolute Aphrodisiac. Honestly, almost all of them could have fitted into this smutty category because Inicio, they just have something like very indolic about them. And that's the image, like that's what the brand is trying to portray to us consumers, actually. Like they're trying, the owner is trying to like build the brand around that type of image, that sexy aphrodisiac, just very in touch with your sexuality. Like that's what they're doing. So um, yeah, it works. <laughs> Side effects is such a gorgeous, boozy vanilla tobacco very sweet like very sweet almost fruity in a way like i almost get a bit of a red fruitiness which might be coming from the pink pepper i'm not sure i don't have the notes on here it's just beautiful it's this slightly boozy like rum fragrance with a vanilla tobacco vibe very sweet very intense very wow like i I'm honestly speechless, like I'm honestly speechless, you guys. And I'm gonna put you onto a combo that I wore. Um, I, once again, I never go out, it's not my thing at all. This was like last year, I went to a club, which is like, oh my God, like especially I don't drink, so it's like kind of, I don't like going to clubs, like I hate it actually, but Pierre really wanted to go, so we went. And it was a club that was like, really really small it was more of like a speakeasy and you're like like this close to people next to you like it was really not pleasant actually and it smelled so much of men smoking cigars and just like alcohol and it was a lot but i wore these two fragrances together that night and i got three compliments like one by one of my friends he hugged me and he was like you smell literally incredible and i was like Thank you so much. And two were from strangers inside of the speakeasy. So for me, I feel like to get complimented on a scent, your fragrance inside of like a packed club where there is a smell of cigars and vomit and I don't, maybe not vomit, but like everything. It was amazing. Trust me, guys, layer these fragrances together. Like they smell beautifully alone, but together it's like a dynamite combination. Another smutty fragrance this is passessoir from bdk parfum even the name is a little bit you know um like insinuating that it's a little bit of a smutty scent this is it means not tonight in french so and i love the name it's probably one of my favorite perfume names ever i just think it's so like perfect and so cute like not tonight i don't know i just love it passessoir so BDK Passessoir is this beautiful honeyed, soft, spicy floral fragrance and it's just pure perfection, pure perfection in terms of like this very addictive, airy, playful, flirtatious, smutty floral. It's gorgeous, like absolutely gorgeous. This smells like happiness, but in a sexy way, like it's it's cheeky like there's something cheeky about this scent and i just love it you guys you have some white florals in there but very well balanced this is not like a white floral fragrance i have a lot of fragrances in my collection a cento overdose uh fleur burlesque rouge maliki even that are much more dominant in the white floral profile passessoir is this beautiful mix of some soft white florals mixed with that kind of soft spicy aspect mixed with this beautiful honeyed sweetness it's just gorgeous like a fruitiness as well like a very interesting fruitiness actually and i just love it you guys i think there's a touch of patchouli in there too gorgeous fragrance like just so beautiful and sexy and smutty and you're gonna get so many compliments with this one especially from men i don't know why 
I don't know why, but guys love this fragrance, especially my boyfriend, so don't wear it around him. Another fragrance that I would consider to be super smutty is Venom Incarnate from Stefan Amberluca. This is your delicious red fruity leather fragrance. This is like an ambery, dense red fruity fragrance with this undertone of leather. I think there's a touch of oud in the base as well. It's very sexy, like very, very, very sexy fragrance. If you like scents like La Capitale from Zerzhov, you will love Venom Incarnate. They have like a similar um, note breakdown, like they both have red fruits, they both have leather, they both have amber, I think, and it's just beautiful. I would say Venom Incarnate, overall, it feels more dense. Like, I don't know how to explain that, but it just feels more dense, whereas La Capitale, it's kind of more airy. And it's so, so sexy, you guys. Like, whenever I smell this on someone, I always give them a compliment. It's very sweet and addictive. You have the leather in there, but again, it's not taking over the whole entire fragrance. Like, you don't feel like it's too aggressive by any means. It's just gorgeous. Very sweet, red fruity, caramelized, ambery leather fragrance. Amazing. It also has really good longevity and projection. I would say seven, eight hour mark again with like a soft projection. It definitely is not a base by any means, but it does project because actually I met with the brand like last year at some point and one of the team members were wearing it and it's all I could smell in our meeting was like whiffs of Venom Incarna. Actually, they were all wearing Stefan Amber Luca perfumes, but Venom Incarna, I could smell the strongest actually. Next up, we have Swa Maleke from Dries Van Noten. I just saw that there's a new launch from Drew's Van Noten and I am so excited to smell it. I think it's called like Mystic Moss or something like that. I just opened the cap and wow, like I, I love this fragrance. It is so sexy and so smutty for women like this. Oh my gosh. Oh my God. What you have in here is this really like sweet and dark just sexy fragrance like wow you have chestnut you have black currant i think you have a silk note whatever that's supposed to smell like definitely some vanilla there's also like a slightly kind of fruity vibe going on in here which maybe is coming from the black currant but it definitely gives off this like intense kind of sweet fruitiness for sure there is some vanilla. It's just incredible, you guys. You also have rose. It's wow, like wow, wow, wow. I don't think it's like the most original fragrance ever, but I just love the way that it smells. It is so intoxicating, you guys, like truly intoxicating and definitely fits that smutty vibe. Like it has that really like, look at me, like look at me right now sort of attitude. And it's just incredible. So 12 out of 10 fragrance with amazing longevity and projection. I would say in this list, it's definitely one of the most long lasting in this list. And I was not expecting that totally, to be completely honest. I was expecting it to be a little bit softer. It is strong, it's going to last and it's going to project. So that is something that I really appreciate about the scent. Really love it. Definitely a smutty, smutty girl fragrance you need to have. Finally, we have Temp Fluo from Nishane. I adore this fragrance. It's so underrated. Look at my bottle, by the way, you guys. Like I, I wear this scent. I absolutely love it. I haven't worn it for a very long time, I will be honest, <laughs> but I do really love it. And I used to love layering mostly with this scent. Temp Fluo is a little bit along the lines of something like Lib from Yves Saint Laurent. Not the same by any means, but something along those lines. What you have in here is orange blossom. You have a lot of cashmere wood. So it has this really dry kind of woody vibe going on. There is definitely a freshness in the opening, like some citruses and you have a praline note. So it definitely has a sweetness overall. Like this fragrance is definitely sweet. I would say you mostly get the orange blossom, but not in a too like it doesn't smell necessarily like an orange blossom scent like it's not too much like it's there you definitely smell it but not too much you have this really dry woody kind of like dna overall and an intense sweetness it's just beautiful really smutty really sexy definitely recommend it for anybody that wants attention it's a gorgeous fragrance and i also love layering with this one so i recommend trying out some layering combos with this fragrance in particular it's so good 
Love the fragrance. Amazing longevity and projection as well. It lasts on my skin around eight hours with a nice soft projection. It's just gorgeous. Really recommend it to you guys. That is it, you guys. I hope that you enjoyed hearing about the most smutty fragrances. I thought it was a fun video topic. I don't want people to take it too seriously and I don't know, like, you know, take it too seriously. It's just a fun, uh, fun video to kind of play around with the idea. So let me know, guys, did you enjoy it? What did you think of the fragrances that I included? And that's it. I will talk to you guys really soon. Bye.